Today we're checking out a Latitude E7470 and just to verify, yes, it is indeed a 7470 with one of those proprietary Dell E ports, which this one can support VGA or dual DVI or display port, which together is with the built-in HDMI port that is capable up to six, uh, 30 hertz, 2560 by 1440, or a mini display port that's only capable up to 25, uh, 1920 by six, uh, 1200, excuse me, and it together joins in other IOs like a gigabit Ethernet port, so that's 10100 or 1000. Dual USB 3 without power share. The USB 3 port with a power share is the one here. You can see there's an extra icon next to the USB icons. And an SD card reader with one of these dummy SD, uh, SD cards. A headset port, which should be just only audio out, no microphone. As well as a SIM slot on this particular model, although that could be not on all models. On the other side, we have just the Kensington lock as well as ventilation. And then at the bottom, it's mostly just dual speakers, a ventilation, four rubber feet, and that is about it. Uh, opening up the laptop itself, we have a webcam at the top, as well as, as, well as our microphone, as well as our camera status light. Power buttons to the top right separated from the keyboard, which this is it. Half height arrow buttons, although it does extend the keyboard height compared to the rest of the keys. That's our trackpad. Internally, these systems came with Core i3, Core i5, or i7 processors of the Skylake generation, which meant they also adopted a DDR4 memory. This computer has a hinge that can go about 180 degrees. Uh, and then this used either 65 watt or 90 watt power supplies, depending on the configuration internally. Uh, HD graphics 5500, standard with the processor. It's about 1.5 or 1.6 kilograms, depending on uh, several factors. And this particular unit I have here, let's just verify the display resolution, is 1366 by 768, although models also came with higher resolution 1920 by 1080p panels and yeah that's going to be the showcase of the Dell Latitude E7470